So this is the Droid Script tool. You can download this from Google Play for free. Here is where our apps will appear when we create apps. So there's one default Hello World app already created for you. If we press on that, then it will launch the app. You can see there's a button and an image here. If we press that, it vibrates the phone and says Hello World. Hit back button and it closes the app. If we want to edit that, we can long press on it. Hit the edit option. And now we see the code for this. And we have this little cursor dragging tool here. We can move it around. So instead of saying Hello World, let's change that to say something different. So I'm going to change that to say hello David. Type that in and we can press the play button here that will run the code straight away. Press the button hello David. So we can change edit code as simple as that. This option here is the debugging option so if we press that it will actually run the app but put a semi-transparent layer on top and when we press buttons and touch things we'll see debug information coming out that can be very useful for working out what's wrong with your program seeing what's going on inside hit back again and we'll come back out of that we've got the undo and, and redo buttons as well of course there so we also have a button up here this is a menu option it gives us various options to create new apps see the plugins list settings etc so if we want to create a new app we go on that option there press new now we get a choice of two types of app. We can have a standard JavaScript app which creates native components, native Android controls. Um, we also have HTML, so if we chose HTML that would create an HTML based application or a hybrid application. That means all the user interface would be um, defined using CSS and HTML5 and you can use all the standard sort of JavaScript libraries you would commonly use to create web pages. That can make it a lot easier to write apps if you're a web developer already. But if you're not, then it's probably easier to create native applications uh, using JavaScript. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to create one. Let's call it My App. Press OK. And there we have the new My App icon. So if we touch that, it runs the app. All it does is say hello. Very simple. So it's given us a basic, very simple application to start with. So again, we could edit that and change that instead of saying hello or something if we, wanted, if we wanted to. So that's how you create new applications. Now, if we wanted to create a shortcut to that application, we can long press on that and create a shortcut. And there's now a shortcut on the home screen of this phone. So if I then back out of DroidScript, you'll see there's a shortcut there. So we run that. And there we have the simple app starts, close it, and it's gone. So that's just how simple it is to make your own apps using DroidScript. So let's start up DroidScript again. And I'll show you a few more bits. So on the right, we have examples, lots of samples here. There's probably about 50 samples doing all sorts of things, showing you how to use, um, how to access the hardware of your mobile device and create graphics, images, talked to websites on the internet, to other devices through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, control gadgets like mobile phones, uh, sorry, smartwatches, Lego Mindstorms, Arduino, etc. All sorts of things you can do. So let's look at this tilt and draw example. This is a, a simple example of how to control the accelerometer or read information from the accelerometer. So if I run that app, I need to hold the screen flat and you can see the accelerometer is allowing me to draw on the screen by tilting the mobile phone. There are more sophisticated examples on here. There are games examples, for example. So let's look. We have one called F what we call Flappy Eagle, which is our version of the famous Flappy Bird game. So this one is created. Oops, I'm not very good at this game. This was created to demonstrate that you can actually build your own games quite easily as well. And this is using JavaScript in, a, in a, that's a native Android app there. So that's the examples, plenty of those to look at. Good place to start your own app with a sample as well. Um, if you're not quite sure where to start, take a, take a sample and start modifying it. On the left hand side we have the documentation. There's a basic introduction there. There's also active documentation in here. So if we look for example at images, 
and we look through here we can expand certain parts of the documentation and it gives us uh, a piece of code we can then copy onto the clipboard if we want to and then we can slide the documentation out of the way and if we wanted to we can paste that into our application if we double tap on this yo-yo tool here we can see we have the cop copy and paste type tools there so if we go back to docs this also allows us to run the sample so this particular example here we can just press the run button and see exactly what that little bit of code does to see if it's actually relevant to what we're doing in our app that can be very useful so then in the documentation we also have um, a javascript reference so we have a basic reference there all the things you'd probably need to know um, for writing your own apps in JavaScript. Also, we have a basic introduction here to JavaScript. Now, that will teach you from the very beginnings of how to write JavaScript. It's a very simple introduction, and really, you don't need to know any JavaScript at all if you come to this app, because you can just read this, and it's a good, it will give you a good starting point for learning JavaScript. So that's the documentation. Um, there's a couple of things here. I'd like to show you when we're editing here as well. We have we can get help on all the different functions available to us here so all the different options can be chosen here um, and when you actually start typing into an app it will prompt you and you can click on a function it would also tell you what the parameters are as well as you're typing in that can be very helpful so you don't have to refer to the documentation all the time so let's take a look at this button again up here. So the menu button gives us various options. One of those is plugins. Now there are lots of plugins available for DroidScript. Some of them cost money, some are free, but you can do almost everything you need to do for free in DroidScript. There are a few bits and bobs which you might want to buy. If you're getting very serious about coding, you might want to build buy an APK builder which would allow you to build your own apps, release them on the Google Play Store, and actually make money yourself in if you wanted to do that. But there are plenty of free plugins here. We see there's one for the BBC Micro bit, there's one for controlling Lego Mindstorm through Bluetooth, other bits and bobs. And there's more and more. We're developing new plugins of all the time. There's one here for reading QR codes and barcodes. Free one for controlling the GoPro cameras. Like I said, we're getting we're writing new ones all the time, adding adding to that list constantly. So the other thing which is very important to say is although you can code anywhere you are totally mobile using your tablet or phone without any internet connection you can also if you are on the Wi-Fi press this button here and it will give you an address if you go to your browser on your Mac or your PC your laptop you type that address into it will remotely connect to your phone and then you can use a a full-blown development environment and you can drag in images, find images off the internet and sounds and audio and you can use a mouse and a keyboard and that makes it a lot easier to write apps. When you're writing large apps it's probably a good way to go but of course you can still still use it on the mobile device if you're out and about or just use it all the time if you prefer. So I think that's just about everything. Oh there's a couple more things to say. If we long press on here we get the option to share via email and that can be really useful so if you want to send your app through Gmail to your friends or yourself that can be quite useful um, good way of backing up your app but also you can send it to your mate and then when, if he's got DrawScript installed he can click on that when he receives it and it will load up into his DrawScript um, application and you'll be able to run your app and he might be able to help you find if there's any problems in your app or if you just want to show off and send him your latest creation that's cool as well so there's one last thing I should mention uh, we have a very active forum and a great community um, thousands of people um, get together and discuss how to write apps and if, discuss their problems etc so if you go on the about menu option you'll see there's a link to the discussion group that's a Google group and it's a great place to get help if you've got any questions or problems you can just write a question on there and you'll probably get answered pretty quickly usually within about half an hour there's a Twitter link if you want to see keep up with what's going on we're adding new things all the time so that's a good place to keep track of what's going on and of course we've got a Facebook link as well and that again will keep you up to date with what's going on with DroidScript okay
I hope that's uh, been informative. I'll see you on the DrawScript channel at another time.